it was a, a silk tie, a fancy silk tie. And a fancy silk tie. I think it was just too formal for the OCBD. So today we're going to talk about whether you can and should wear a tie with an OCBD. And what is an OCBD, Austin? An Oxford cloth button down shirt. Austin, you have a story. Yeah, I was attending a, an evening event at a tailor shop and I was wearing an OCBD and uh, a tie and I actually ended up getting a lot of flack for it. And now I'm not sure whether I can wear a tie with an OCBD. What were they saying? It no. Just, you know, I, what, so I was, was it just no, like don't wear an OCBD in the tie? Or yeah, I think they, that's a good distinction because- Or were he's making very- I think it was the tie that was the issue. It was a, a silk tie, a fancy silk tie. And a fancy silk tie. I think it was just too formal for the OCBD. Okay, so it's more nuanced criticism. Yeah. So it, they weren't saying you shouldn't wear a button down with the tie per se. No, and, and where I went, the, the tailors at the shop are big fans of dressing very formally and wanted me to wear a tie. And uh, yeah, and I was handed a tie and I put it on. I don't know what they expected. And yeah, I ended up getting a lot of flack for it. So okay. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm kind of scarred from that experience. So I actually, I prefer not to wear ties with an OCBD, but I have to admit, I do like the look. I think it's, okay. I think it in, in its context, it's a great look. I know yeah. a lot of very well-dressed people that wear it regularly because it's a very comfortable, soft way of dressing, which complements today's aesthetic. But let's, maybe let's talk about the tie. Is there a right and a wrong tie to wear with a I wouldn't a tend to wear a very formal looking woven silk tie, for example. Okay. So I, I love heavy silk woven ties, yeah. but I would tend to keep those for maybe my cutaway shirts. Mm -hmm. I think things like knits always look great. Yeah. I think this wool tie looks, looks good with it. So no, I think it's a, it's a respectable look, particularly with a sports jacket and a blazer. I think a yeah. button down on a tie on a sports jacket or blazer looks good. I agree. Um, but going back to comments, when I was a young salesman on German Street, we weren't allowed, even though we sold button downs in the shirt mm -hmm. shop I worked in, we weren't allowed to wear ties and button downs. We weren't allowed to wear button downs unless it was a weekend. It was seen as a, a, a dress down weekend look. Okay. So it is seen as being less formal. Yeah. But that's, that's mean you shouldn't wear it. So another question I have is regarding the actual buttoning down of the collar. I mean, here we have the collar buttoned down. Uh, the tailor shop that I worked at in Italy, it was very sort of sprezzatura. It's an Italian term that sort of means nonchalance. Um, and they would wear their OCBDs with, uh, with the collar not buttoned down. That sounds very effective and the opposite of nonchalance. Yeah, it was just sort of, I don't know, more, more casual and a little bit more they would uh, sometimes actually intentionally only do one button and leave the other That's button just undone. Crazy. That's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy sartorial so it talk. So like, yeah. that sort of like jazz, jazz fashion. <laughs> I mean, I, I would tend to agree with you. If I'm going to, you know, I think next time I sort of dip my toe in the water and wear a tie, probably, you know, be a little bit more conservative. And maybe wear like one button, one, one Oxford shoe, one, lo one loafer just to sort of keep it. Just to show it to have, that sounds quite effective to me. <laughs> I like it with a tie. I don't often wear types of button downs but I would with this type of shirt. The ties I would wear would be things like knitted, uh, perhaps club ties always look quite good, a bit sportier looking and I tend to do it with blazers rather than suits. Well if you guys have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below and we'll get back to you.